me stick with the tip number three to try to do this video. Um, my laptop wasn't working, which is what I normally video on. And so here we go. Happy Munchpack Day. Uh, this is what we see when we open it up. Lots of lovely goodies. And we're going to start with this. This is called My Pot. My Pot, my potato chips, Himalayan pink salt. And they come from Japan, quality product, with a perfect balance of Himalayan pink salt. Tastes like a potato chip to me. Very thin you? crisps. Very thin. Mm -hmm. We're almost used to super thick crisps, yeah. but these are super thin. Very good. Just your average good potato chip, folks. No problem. Nothing fancy. Might break. All right, now, grab, grab one, baby. Well, That's some green dust. That All looks right. like something flavorful. Crema y especias sabritas. Sabritas? And they come from Sabritas. Mexico. And okay. they look like they might be a product of Frito Lay by the by the, by the It logo. does. It does have definitely has a Frito Lay sort of appearance here, baby. And these are also potato chips, so we compare Frito Lay versus. Mm-hmm. Well, those oh. are yummy. These have some extra things in them. So this is um ranch flavor, I think. And um they're a thicker chip. Sour cream and onion. Yeah. Very, very nice. A thicker chip than the others were. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to do... Oh, looks like one of The original Yo-Yo's snack crackers. All right. I'm going to um, need your... Um, my, my scissors? I'm going to let you scissor this thing open because, um, because I've been growing my nails. I don't know why. I think it's just because I sit around on the recliner all the time, not doing anything with my hands. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. And they come from United States, of all things. All right. From international from America. Here goes, sweetie. Not familiar with yo yo's. I wonder if they're an Eastern seaboard thing. Well, those are good. A little Cheeto type thing, or a little cheesy. Cheez Its. Mhm. Mm Not Cheetos, Cheez Its, or Cheese mm. Nips. Right, very nice. Uh huh. A yum cheese crackers. All right. Now we've got some pretzel. Looks like the Pocky style pretzel. And. And they come from Japan. Okay. Again, they're going to require scissors. Mm. I really like pretzely things. Do you guys like pretzely things? Oh, how weird these are sweet. Yeah. What in the world is that flavor? Well. It tastes like a flavor of some kind. A tangy, savory, salad flavor. Which ones do you recognize? Ha! Huh. Hmm, I wonder if they're different. If they're all different flavors. Just to give everybody a, a, a quiz. Whatever they are, they're good. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so these are Kokomo chocolate filled biscuits otherwise known as cookies in the States. And they come from Pakistan. Yeah. You know what we need to start doing? You need to start opening these things before oh, we pick them up. Okay. Because okay. we're gonna end up with a bunch of dead air and there's nothing worse, nothing worse than a bunch of dead air. There we go. A couple of old people fumbling with their snack packaging. Yeah, everybody just wants to watch that. Here you go, honey. Thank you. Okay. Little mini cookies. Mmm, nice chocolatey. We've had these before and they're so good. Very nice. Chocolate centered, very creamy. 
crunchy cooking. This okay. is pretty rough. How do you pronounce that? I, it's Pirac, I guess. They're from Brazil. Pirac. So you've got the Brazilian Pirac ancestry. Maybe? Um, lime flavored wafers. Mm. Okay. Oh, that sounds enticing. I love lime. I do too. Because we could have done this. In... Oh. We could have, but then we wouldn't have had as much to eat. We would have had half the cookie to eat. Uh -oh. mm. Mm. You know, these little flaky cookies like this, you know, when we were kids, they had the ones that were vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Um, these always remind me of my childhood. They do me as well. I love them. Fond okay. memories. There you go. Okay. These are Maynard's Fuzzy Peach. I believe they're a little chewy. Candy kind of thing. From, from, from Canada. Yeah, they're a little gummy thing covered in sugar. I always like peach flavor. Not always for me. Um, sometimes it's mm, weird, but this is good. Sour. But good. Mm. We're sitting in a hot room. More or less hot. This one says London, like London, but mm -hmm. with a T. Roll. And they come from Malaysia. A Lenten roll. Looks British, but it's from Malaysia. Oh, this is interesting. It's a soft, oh, yeah. little soft thing rolled up. I don't know what's in it. But here, I'll give you the biggest piece. Thank you. You're welcome. Looks creamy. Oh. This is what my friend Abigail calls a gap, gap and swallow. Of what? Gap. gap and swallow. Gap and swallow means it looks like a big thing, but when you take a bite, it just immediately compresses into nothing. Mm. Gap and swallow desserts. <laughs> Never heard that expression. Mm. Seems appropriate. Hmm. So it's good. Um, very light flavor. Yeah. Creamy vanilla, light. And it doesn't feel um, that stale kind of either. That this one is, is a from Poland. It's trunky, a chocolate meets hazelnut. Trunky Nicola. A Frenchy Nicola. wafer filled with chocolate hazelnut cream Nicola. and tiny hazelnut pieces. I don't care if that's that. Okay. Oh, oh look. It looks like a little crushed log. Isn't that cute? Again, I'm going to give you the big piece. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. It is crunch-tastic. And the filling is yummy. Hazelnut yummy. Mm. Wow, this is good. Mm. Very nice. Mm, so good. Now what are we doing? You have a tango chewable. I haven't, I haven't yeah. cut that one you yet. You can do the honors. Actually, it's sort of interesting. It's one that, uncharacteristically, it has actually a folded over end. Mm. Probably so that you can. Oh, I understand. So you can get. I'm gonna fall out of frame and wipe my face with my shirt. <laughs> So this has little individually wrapped yeah. chews. Yeah, I like chews. Blueberry flavor. I love anything that's like, 
Starburst, Haichu, Mike and Ike, not Mike and Ike, what's that other one? Mm. You got me. Yeah, can't remember. But little chewy things wrapped in wax paper are, are always um, acceptable. That's acceptable candy. It takes a master's degree to get this stuff off of here. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, my first impression on the way it tastes, it's very sour. It tastes kind of like mildew. But then I've been wiping off ancient National Geographic magazines all morning, so I may have got a, a whiff of my own hand cleaning solution. Now this one is interesting. It's a Fanta. Oh no, it still kind of tastes like mildew. Tropical Fanta from Croatia. Mm. Mm. And it's ingredient list I'm the only person I know who can, you know, hurt myself with my snacks. <laughs> it definitely okay. has sugar in it. I cannot tell beyond that because it has lots of calories. So mm -hmm. it's not unsweetened mm -hmm. or not artificially sweetened in At least. total, though it might be partially. Right. Well, let's give this Tropical Fanta a try. Mm. Ooh, I got a whiff of something from the past. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh. Tastes very good. God. It reminds me of, so here, have some more. It reminds me of Okay. I was 10 years old, hanging out with my friend Linda at her house. Her bedroom was so cool. Her parents had built on this extra room to the back of their place. And it was a rather large room. I mean, it seemed huge to me at the time, but it was probably maybe, maybe 17 by 20, something like that. And it was... Um, all three girls slept in this room. They had um, uh, mattresses on the floor and they built kind of little partitions with their um, chests of drawers and stuff. It was a really neat room for girls. Well, my friend Linda and I, we would go swimming in their above ground pool and we would wrap up in the ratty old beach towels and we'd go into the room and we'd turn on the record player and we'd dance. We do the sexy dance in this, in this, in our wraparound ratty bath towels that we thought looked like sarongs or something. I don't know what kind of weird fantasy we were in, but the room had this smell in it. And I think the smell came from the cheap perfume of her older sisters. I think that's what it was because it had a weird tropical fruity smell, but not like a suntan lotion. It was more perfumey like this. So anyhow, this reminds me of being wrapped up and pretending like I'm Dorothy L'Amour doing the sexy dance, smelling this perfume. I don't know. It just, these, they come out of nowhere. I just, I can't control this stuff. Okay, so we're done, huh? It was a good one. I like this one. I really like the savories that they sent this time. Very, very yummy. And we will see you guys later. Bye.